Okay then, so moving on to 2.3 number 20. Um, we've got a couple of, uh, we, we need to try to apply the limit laws. Um, the, the idea is that if I can get this to say the limit as x goes to one of f of x, right now this limit's being applied to the whole thing. But if I can get it distributed into each one of these terms individually, like limit as x goes to one of f of x, then I can just type in an eight. And if I can get limit of x to a one of g of x, then that just becomes a three. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, there's a, a quotient law uh, and I believe if you look back at your uh, textbook, I believe that's law five is the quotient law. And the quotient law says that if you have the limit of some f of x over some other function, um, then you can apply that to the top and the bottom. So really what we have up here is actually equal to the limit as x goes to one of f of x over the limit as x goes to one of g of x minus h of x, okay? And so that was by, by law five is what allowed us to do that. So we now have basically the limit over the limit. So law five allows us to put that on the top and the bottom. Now law two actually allows us to distribute this in. This is the difference law. So by law two, we can say the limit as x goes to one of f of x over, I got, got some mess there, hold on here. So I've been getting an eraser here real quick. Here we go, here we go. Back to my pen. And by law two, we can say that this can actually distribute in now too, which is the limit as x goes to one of g of x minus the limit as x goes to one of h of x. And so down here, this is by law two. Now, why do we like this? Well, the reason why we like this is now these are written in this format because limit of x goes to one of fx is equal to eight. So I can go over here now and say this is equal to, because this is truly that, it's equal to eight on the top over limit as x goes to one of g of x is written exactly like that over three minus limit as x goes to one of h of x is two. Three minus two. So eight over one uh, becomes eight. And that would be your, your final answer there.